So today's project is uh, back on another different Freightliner, a different company. Man, these Freightliners keep me in business. So, uh, I don't think I need the key. Yeah, let me the keys. The blow motor didn't work. I've already uh, taken this apart once, tested it, but I'll show you all how to uh, test it. So, turn the key on. All right, so we got it. Now it's working. So it's sporadically not working. So we're gonna pretend like it's just not working and I'll show you uh, how to test it. So the easiest way to do this is take this panel off. Here. You wanna take this uh, panel off that says Columbia on it, take this panel off. And there's four Torx screws. There's one here, one over there. Uh, come on that's your fuse panel and all your breakers and everything this panel here just pops right out like that there and torques there. I think it's their T20, so I'll go grab those and take that panel off. Alright, so that's what it looks, well, the sun's really freaking bright. Every time I get it up a little higher, it washes out, so um, there, you can see where that panel's removed. <clears throat> so this is your blower motor right here. There's a uh, connector back and there that needs to come loose I don't know if you can see it in there or not I'll take this duct out of the way I'm gonna take this out of the way which is a t20 there t20 there and then it should you know slide over out of the way okay so now you can see that connector right there there's a tab, you push that tab up. Or I'm sorry. It's in there, but I'll, uh, I'll disconnect it and I'll show you how it comes. All right, so that little tab there pulls up and then it just slips out. So you've got four wires on this thing, and the reason you have four wires, if you've got your main power wires and you've got your um, uh, blower motor resistor, it's controlled by this um, blue and red and this blue and white over here. The middle wires, that orange wire is gonna be your hot, and your black right there is gonna be your ground. So what we're gonna do is use a, uh, I use a power probe, most of this. Uh, there's now a bunch of different versions of these, but you can either put positive or you can put negative through a circuit. So I've got the key on, I've got the blower motor on. I'm gonna see if I can't stab. Yeah, okay. So I've got 12 volts there. And I've got good ground, okay. So I don't know if I can stab these other ones one-handed or not. Since I have voltage there, that tells me that my blower motor should be getting voltage. So it should be spinning. Now these blower motor resistors. See, we got three volts there. And four volts, okay? So we've got voltage to the resistor. We've got a good ground and positive. If uh, you turn the knob off, still get voltage right that's how it's supposed to be set up so now we get no voltage on our other one okay so that's gonna be the signal here so I'll turn it on one we'll, or I'll turn it on max we'll see what the voltage is 
Okay, we're all the way on four. Too bad it didn't go to 11. Okay, so six volts. <clears throat> so it's just very even, uh, just sitting in different levels of voltage. So to go from six down to, uh, I think one volt or something like that, I don't know what the specs are, but anyway, that's a real quick way to test it. If you're getting voltage there, you got a good ground, you're getting voltage here, and your motor should be spinning. Now how I knew this motor was bad is because when I came over uh, the first time and I started jacking with it, all I did was hit it like that and it started moving. So uh, I think what's going on is the bearing in this thing is going bad and it's locking up. So to get it out, you gotta take these little T15 Torxes. One back there, and one back there. Take all those out and the whole assembly comes out. I'm also gonna take this little cabin air filter out. You can see how it's dusty. We'll take it out, clean it out, and uh, that'll help uh, circulation a little bit. Okay, so we got the bolts out. So that dude just comes out like that. And there we are. I'll uh, take this blower motor resistor cover off and show you what's inside it. All right, ready for the big reveal? Bum, bum, ba, da, 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 da. I don't think this guy's supposed to be in there. Poor little dude. So, tell her he's been riding on. It's pretty dusty in there, which that's pretty normal. Um, so it's your blower motor resistor. If I knew more about all the electronics, I could explain what all this stuff was, but I don't really care. She's chooch now. So anyway, that's what it looks like. There's a new one. I'll put and here's our new one. All nice and shiny. Just goes back in the hole. You put your four screws back in, and then you put your connector back in, and good to go. So I'll stick it all back in there and put it back together. All right, so got my connector back in here to snaps. Got my four bolts back in. Now we're gonna test the blower motor, make sure she. Yeah. <clears throat> so now she sounds good. She's not grinding anymore. We'll go ahead and check the other speed functions. And she works. So that's it. Blower motors are pretty easy to diagnose. Um, so one tip on these, um, the older Freightliners, I forget which one it is, or the, I don't know if these new ones do it, but if the computer stored a code for the blower control module, you could put a new blower on it, and it wouldn't fix, you know, it wouldn't come back on. So you had to actually clear the code. I ran into that one time when I was working at a, a truck shop, you know, I, I, I incorrectly, I mean, I, I correctly diagnosed the problem. The uh, blower motor was bad. I didn't have a built-in blower resistor like this one, but I put a new blower motor on and it never come on. Had to get it, you know, I didn't have the, uh, the right laptop to clear the code, so had to send them to the dealer to clear the code. I guess that's what I was told, at least. That was probably eight years ago when I was first mechanic in, so maybe I didn't uh, do something right back then, I don't know, but... From what I was told, he had to go to the dealer and get the dealer, the thing closed. So that's it. Gonna take this off and clean it. Um, it just unclips like that and just blow it out and put it back in. And that'll fix your blower motor. Got any questions? Uh, post a comment, send me a message. Um, please subscribe, hit the like or dislike button, whichever. And thank you for watching.